If it be impossible for truly regenerated people to ever perish, then why should the Holy Spirit move the apostles to so much as hypothetically describe their irremediable doom if they should apostatize? Such a difficulty is occasioned through a one-sided conception of the Christian through considering him only as he exists in the purpose of God and not also remembering what he still is in himself unless the latter be steadily held in mind. We are are in grave danger of denying or at least ignoring the Christian's responsibility. In the purpose of God, the Christian is already glorified, Romans 8.30. Yet he certainly is not so in himself. Here in Hebrews 10.26 and so forth, as in many other passages, the Christian is not addressed from the viewpoint of God's eternal purpose, but as he yet is in himself, in need of solemn warnings as well as exhortations.